Alright, so here I have a short composition and I will demonstrate how you can work with the tempo track in Logic to automate tempo changes throughout your composition. So let's listen to what we have first and then I'll dive in. Alright, so this is just a mock-up before I uh, do the real composition. Uh, what I want to show you is uh, how you can change the tempo with the tempo track, which you can bring up in the global tracks by hitting G as the key command to bring up the global tracks. And here you can right-click and add the tempo track. I usually have the marker and arrangement by default when I open up the global, tr global tracks. And then use the key command Shift Command T. Shift Command T to open and close the tempo track. And here you can see it's only one point now, which is here, because I have 120 as the tempo for the entire composition at the moment. So one way is to actually open this up. And let's say I want to add a tempo change right here in the end, like if you listen. <laughs> Let's say I just want to bring down the tempo to really add to the suspense before that final cadence there. Well, you can of course uh, left click here on the line to create a point and left click, let's say here, and then draw this down, drag it down, left click and drag. And then you see it creates a curve point here and you can grab that and drag it to shape how the curve is for the tempo change. But I find that often the tempo track is, um, if you work with lots of points here, it can be a bit of a tedious process. You have to really zoom in uh, to the project to see it and, and so on. So let me go back. Uh, another way I can recommend is trying to open up the list editors. If you don't use this, it's a great feature in Logic because you can do automations for, or you can add markers and see all markers here. Add tempo automations, um, even signatures. So let's go into the tempo here. And here you can see you have a plus sign. So you simply have the marker here, add a point there, and you can add a point there. And then you simply take this and set it to, whoops, double click here, 110. So now you have that. And then you can uh, go in here and drag that point to make the adjustments. I find that having it in the list editor like this is more clear because I can see every time the tempo actually changed. Uh, and another way, you can always see every tempo change, by the way, if you create a change here, it is available in the list editor, so you can go here. It's easier to make uh, specific values and such. But one of my favorite features uh, to adjust the tempo is actually called tempo operations here in edit menu tempo tempo operations which is an independent window and the reason this is so cool is the, because you can change the curve type you can set how uh, long the change is going to be for the density if it's going to continue with the new tempo or go back to the to the default which is before and so on and this is a really cool you, you can you can create Tempo curve, critic new constant tempo, lots of different features. I really recommend you to experiment with this. One great thing you can use this for is to actually make logic calculate tempo changes in order for your cue points to really land on the visual cue if you sync to picture. Uh, I will make a separate video on that later, but right now let's say you want to do tempo change. Let's say this part here is the course. And let's say you want your chorus to be five, dis, uh, five BPM higher or whatever. Uh, then bring up this window. And I usually do it like I grab something and then click U to make the cycle area be here. Because then I will automatically get position here to here. If I select this, let's say this, and then this change, click U to change the cycle area. You see I get 
two to six. So let's do that again, like so. And then you can set the tempo. I wanted to go up to 126 here. Uh, no, I want, I'm sorry. Yeah. So this is the starting position, 126. And then you see the final position, which is bar 10 here. Create tempo curve. Let's say you want to create constant tempo, then you have one here. If you want to create tempo curve, you can actually create an adjustment over time. So you want to rise from 120 to 130, let's say. It will rise from here, this point, bar 6, to bar 10 here. If I now hit apply, you will see I get it in one bar increments, which you can set here. So you can do it really granular, like so, um, or whatever. So often um, with tempo changes, if you do it like in one bar changes, um, it will have less of an audio artifact if you uh, change audio, like with the tempo changes. So you will have to experiment because obviously you can do it in as curves as well. And you can also choose continue with new tempo, which means afterwards it will be on 130. If not, it will go back to what you had before. So I find this is a great way, the tempo operations, edit, let's see, you go into edit, tempo, tempo operations, and then use this window to really make super specific tempo changes for uh, specific sections in your track. You could use this, for example, to make your verses one uh, BPM, and then let's say you make a drop, um, then you can make that drop. Let's do that, in fact, now. So I need to actually have this so I can select um, from here to here. Oh, well, I drag this. So you can make this. Let's say this is the drop. Bring up the tempo operations again. I recommend that you use add a key command to open this up, by the way. And then you see here you can, let's say, reduce the tempo to 110. Do it, re create tempo curve like so. Let's see, didn't I do it? 110, like so. Oh, I want to keep continue with the new tempo. That means that it will gradually reduce like so. Whoops, <laughs> I had the loop area. This again. Uh, and you really add to the suspense uh, because you extend basically this bar by reducing the tempo there. So those are my three tips. Work in the tempo automation track by clicking and making adjustments, dragging on the little uh, dots here to make shape the curve. Use the list editor view to make the tempo changes there. Or use the tempo operations in the edit tempo tempo operations menu here do you want to level up your skills in music composition production and sound design then check out my online video courses on my website professionalcomposers.com level up your skills to maximize your music productions